the focus is going to be leadership within you know church and and spiritual things however the principles that we're covering are all very applicable to any leadership and you know i ladies i don't want you thinking that this sermon these sermons aren't going to be for you even though you might not be attaining a leadership position of like a pastor or something in a church you still have leadership that you have to exert at home with your children, as well as raising children. If you're raising sons or, ra you know, you want them to grow up to be good leaders, too. There's a lot of good qualities here that it's going to be beneficial for everybody to learn. But specifically, we're going to be going over a lot of different things and we're going to be focusing on just one attribute or one quality every week. And we'll be doing this for a few weeks. But when we started off here in 2 Timothy, there's a lot of um, information. So the books of 1 and 2 Timothy, as well as Titus, from the epistle, as epistles of Paul, he's writing these letters to these men, these elders, these, these pastors of churches, these young men that have been taught and trained by the Apostle Paul. And he's specifically giving them instruction. This is where you're going to find in uh in first timothy chapter three the qualifications for a bishop these you're going to find you know how we ought to behave ourselves in the house of god you're going to find a lot of things when it just comes to their jobs their functions what they need to be doing specifically and we're going to be digging into a lot of these scriptures as well as a bunch of others but we start off here in verse number one the bible reads thou therefore my son be strong in the grace that is in christ jesus and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So what he's telling Timothy to do is take everything you've learned. You've learned a lot from me. Take the doctrine, take the teachings, take this stuff and teach it. He says, commit it unto faithful men. So the, the subject I'm covering tonight as far as leadership attributes is I think probably one of the most important attributes is that of faithfulness, being faithful. Faithful also means dependable, reliable, trustworthy, someone you can count on. This is the type of person that you want to have as a leader. I mean, that only makes sense. If you're going to follow anybody, you want to follow someone who doesn't have their act together. You want to follow somebody who's not faithful in what they do you're going to end up going nowhere there's going to be no confidence in a leader like that now um it says here is also who shall be able to teach others also so the goal is to teach other people and to continue teaching and to make more leaders and to make more people who are faithful they're reliable they're dependable